So now I I used to just do a little test flight now, but it always works fine. So I'm going to skip test flight and do that later. And I'm going to get my video on. So I've got this MCO2 200 milliwatt camera combo here. Pretty sweet lens on it. There's a lighter combo available now, but I already had this, so I'm I'm using this as an example. But there's a four gram, 4.4 gram, 600 TV line version. This is a 900 TV line. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna use this. So the Side Sky puts out five volts, which means you don't need the booster that comes with this. It's I think it's a five volt step up, but you won't need that because you already get five volts right off the flight controller. Uh, I don't quite understand this sort of jumper, but you need it, I've discovered. So what I usually do is I clip it right around here, solder it together just so you don't have all of this. It's some kind of pass through. Um, personally, I don't care about the audio, so you can remove the white wire if you don't want any audio. And then uh, we need power and ground here to our flight controller. Now the flight controller has a four or five pin connector on it and I found them on uh, eBay and they look kind of like this. It's got four pins here. I'll put a link to where I found that. So I'm just going to use some soldering and connect uh, what I need from this to what I need on this and then we're good to go and I'm going to assemble it all up and then go uh, bind it together and we'll do that after. Put some shrink tube on that. Good enough, that's just out of the way now. I'm not gonna keep audio, so I'm just gonna get rid of the white wire. So now I'll just kinda lay it out, see how much wire I need from the camera. So the camera will be up here. So I don't need very much wire to get from here to here. I can keep this pretty short. There we go. This is all I need. This is just that uh, four pin I got on eBay. Only need two of the pins. So let's get those out of there. There we go. So I just need to connect this to this. And then I've got my camera adapter. I kind of guessed on the length, but we'll give it a try. What is that thing that you're using? This is a soldering iron. It makes it so you can connect wires together. Mm. Saw? Solder. Solder? Yep. See, look, these two red wires, I'm connecting them together. There, see, I haven't connected the two wires together. Can you make an So on the side sky, you can choose either side. There's five volts on this side, five volts on that side. And so I just chose this right side because when my camera sits up top, the connector's on the right side. So it's basically just going to go from here bloop, into there with uh, this little adapter I just made. So that should work pretty good. I'm just going to line it up and check that everything connects with the right colors and numbers and such. Just going to put the top plate on. These screws are plastic, so I don't want to tighten them too hard and then just strip them. But I think the weakest point on this frame is probably that, the screws and the standoffs. But like if you hit in a big crash, you'd probably just break, break the standoffs. So yeah, but I mean, standoffs are cheap for piles and piles of them. So I guess if you crash and the worst that happens is a broken standoff, then 
that's fine. So we'll see how it goes. That's what you get for cheap ass frames. This camera came with these little balance uh, connectors that I don't need. So I'm gonna use one of them actually as kind of a mounting solution. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna clip off the metal leads, but I'm gonna put it up on here and then have my camera sitting on it like that so that I get a little upward angle. Then it should be good to go. So I'm gonna try that out and then we should be ready to test flight. All right, so I'm a big fan of zap straps, so I just went with the zap strap solution for now. Try that out. Got a little bit of angle there, so when I'm going fast, it's a pretty wide angle lens anyway. But it probably could use a little more up angle, but uh, the person who's going to be flying this is new to flying anyway, so it's a good start. Looks like my wiring length worked out pretty good here. I've got the camera going down to the 5 volt. And so all that's left now is probably just put some landing pads on here using some shrink tube. So I'm going to do that next. For battery mounting, I'm just going to stick a piece of fine Velcro, uh, the hook end, on here. All right, I found some shrink tube that actually is a really perfect fit for this, uh, for these motors. So it's going to grip really good. So I usually cut uh, enough for, you know, to cover half the motor and then stick out for half the length of the motor. So, here we go. There we go. There's my landing legs. As even as you can is good at, uh, for when you have to uh, recalibrate the, uh, the uh, flight controller for level, but really it's, uh, it doesn't have to be down to the micro millimeter or something like that. And then I usually try and line up the part that's already creased with where the motor wires are going to line. So, there we go. Kind of like that. And then we'll shrink it up after. There we go. So I'll shrink, to, shrink those. So that plus the hot gluing I did earlier should really just protect the bottom of the motors. If you're scraping along the ground or doing these like really fast runs and you're like burning up the ground with your landing pads. I think I cut those pretty level actually. Not too bad. <laughs> Could almost leave them like that, but I'm gonna shrink them anyway and then uh, make sure they're not just too tall. Looks like I don't have a lighter or a heat gun, so I'm gonna see if I can get this hair dryer hot enough. Here we go. Oh, that worked okay. Looks a little silly to me, so I, I'm gonna just trim those to half that, and then we're, I think we're all done with the building. Get on with the flying. Go. Oh, that looks okay for level. Not too bad anyway. <laughs> 